after going on two different mission trips, I fell in love with mission work and I just felt like the Lord called me to that. When you're like on a mission trip, like everybody there's a unified like mind and we thought honestly that it'd be a really good foundation for our marriage for us to have the same mind and to be working towards the same thing. And we both wanted to bring the mission field home with us. And so we thought the best way to start would be just in our local community. I first learned about Dwell when First Ridgeland started coming here to do activities with the kids on Sundays. I think what made me want to participate in the Dwell ministry the most was the work I saw Kelsey and James doing and how they made a difference in the community and just kind of making people engage and have them not be afraid to ask for prayer or about our services. That's, you know, one of the big reasons Dwell exists is to bring the church to the people that might feel like outsiders and welcome people and to show them that we can meet you where you are. I think for, for me in particular, like the most exciting thing about Dwell was the fact that it's it encourages you to be more intentional about being good examples and trying to spread God's love through just making friends. I've learned to really be thankful for the small victories. Meeting your neighbors is sometimes hard because everyone is just caught up in their own little world. So it's been challenging but also good for us to realize like we need to slow down and make meeting those around us a priority. Oftentimes being a believer is about like consistency and like being in it for the long haul. To have a good foundation it's going to take time, it's going to take hard work, it's not just going to happen overnight. I just do my best to show God's love and be the hands and feet of Jesus and hope that somewhere, somehow, it takes root with someone. One way that people can come alongside us and help is by praying. Even though it feels passive, it's one of the most active things that you can do. And just pray that the Lord places people in front of us that want to build that relationship. I feel like something on my heart is that we would know the needs of our neighbors. And so for people to pray that we would be able to like recognize like what do our neighbors need. One of the biggest ways that people can make an impact with Dwell is to volunteer. Volunteers make a huge, huge difference. They help people feel more welcome and like people care about them. And the bottom line is people want to feel like they care about their love. All people really need from each other is to develop a community, whether it's deep friendships or just a recognition. That's always going to be the first step in reminding somebody that they're loved. Jesus changes everything and it all starts with me, the person. So let's go be the hands and feet of Jesus.